Hi, everyone in BYU Public Speaking. It's Will again. Uh, for my informative speech, I want to talk about gluten-free diet. And actually, I kind of want to argue that um, it is not the best way to lose weight, and it can actually have some health effects that might be negative. Um, so I had some sources that I posted with my outline and some images. I want to talk about them a little later. First, I just want to go into the reason why people would choose to go on a gluten-free diet, and I do absolutely recognize the benefits, uh, some of the benefits at least. Um, one of the things is gluten products are proportionally high in carbs, which compared to other macronutrients like proteins, um, so if someone is trying to cut out calories and carbs in their diet, by eliminating gluten products, you will also eliminate carbohydrates. So basically what that means is by eliminating things like bread, which contain gluten, but are also high in carbohydrates, you will decrease your caloric intake, which is why people do it. They will lose weight because they are decreasing the amount of calories they took in. That's just common sense. You know, you have calories in versus calories out, and that is why we either gain weight or lose weight. Um, basically some negatives or concerns that I have with gluten-free diet is that gluten is just a protein at its basis. It's, it's a protein that is found in wheat and grains also like barley and rye. Um, my mom's actually a dietitian and what they've done for the last five or six years now is they have their first year students just boil down wheat and they end up with these little balls of gluten at the end. And um, I think it's optional. I don't think she makes them all eat them, but some of the students eat them. And as far as I know, there have been no health reactions or adverse effects to just eating gluten because it is just a protein. It's a protein like whey protein and protein powders or meat proteins, and your body breaks down proteins accordingly, and it sends them to the places where they need to go. Um, so when we are talking about cutting calories in our diet, we aren't really talking about cutting, or I'm sorry, when we're talking about cutting carbohydrates in our diet, we aren't really talking about cutting gluten out. What we're talking about is cutting the other components of foods like bread that also contain gluten in them. So, you know, bread, it contains gluten, yes, but that's not really what we're worried about for losing weight. We're not losing, we're not worrying about the protein, we're worrying about the carbohydrates. And they're there are other ways to go about cutting out your carbohydrates than by just being gluten free. And also there are many food sources that contain that are gluten free, but also are very high in carbohydrates. And what I'm thinking of is potatoes. Potatoes are starches and they are very high in carbohydrates and they also fit within a gluten free diet. So um, you could eat potatoes and cut out your gluten products, but you could still be at the same level of carbohydrates for the day. Another thing is sugars, so natural sugars or artificial, you know, like not artificial sweet sugars, but processed sugars, um, they're still carbohydrates, they're still sugars, but they don't contain gluten. So while they will make you gain weight if you eat them in excess, they still fit in a gluten-free diet. So you can kind of, you can kind of not cheat, but you can kind of find loopholes in which you can increase, you can maintain your carbohydrate intake and at the same time be gluten-free which is the idea of a gluten-free diet. Um, so I basically, in fact, one of the things I had a problem with was by saying gluten-free, it doesn't at all mean that you're watching your sugar intake. And excess sugar intake is one of the main reasons people end up with type 2 diabetes and other health, health problems in general. It's because of the sugar. It's not because of the gluten. Um, it also, gluten-free does not mean that we aren't drinking alcohol which it actually has more calories per gram than any sort of carb or sugar. Alcohol has nine calories per gram and sugar has four. So if you're talking about losing weight, that should be one of the first things you want to address is your alcohol intake versus, you know, like things like gluten. Um, another thing that gluten-free diet does not mean is it doesn't mean that we are changing the proportion of our macronutrients in our diet. Um, increasing the proportion of protein in your diet is well known to make you feel fuller longer and it can also increase your lean muscle mass. A lot of people don't know but increasing your lean muscle mass will also increase the amount of calories you burn per day. It's called resting metabolic rate which is um, basically like your body is a furnace and the things you take in you will burn. So the more lean muscle you have on you, the more calories you burn on a daily basis.
So if someone wants to actually lose weight, that should be something that's one of the top priorities is gaining lean muscle. You want to gain lean muscle and lose fat at the same time. And by actually cutting out a protein from our diet, by cutting out gluten, we could in turn, it doesn't mean we necessarily are, but we could be decreasing the total amount of proteins that we're taking in for a day. And that would mean we're decreasing our muscle mass, which would mean we're decreasing our metabolic rate. And in turn, we won't burn as many calories and won't hit our weight goals. I thought it was interesting. Um, basically, in my opinion, the reason that a lot of people jump on the gluten-free thing is because it is an easier process than looking at the back of everything that you eat and adding up the carbs, proteins, and fats in them and keeping a log of how many carbs, proteins, and fats you were eating in a day. And that's really what you should be focusing on if you're talking about changing your weight. Whether you want to gain weight or lose weight, you should be talking about your macronutrients and regulating your stuff. Um, and that's just, that's just the fact. And I think it's simpler to go into a grocery store or to go out to eat somewhere and say that I'm not eating gluten right now, so I'm avoiding products with gluten, rather than, you know, thinking about how many grams of carbohydrates are in your slice of pizza, or how many grams of protein are in your glass of milk, how much sugar you're drinking, how many fats you've had today. I think it's easier to just eliminate gluten. Um, and that, I really don't think is the point of losing weight. I I really don't. Um, as I used to be a personal trainer. I've always considered myself a health enthusiast, and I really think the way to lose weight is to evaluate what you're eating and reduce your levels of carbs or fats from there. Usually you keep your proteins as one of the proportionally high parts of your diet because you want to stay full longer and you want to keep your lean muscle mass so you keep burning those carbs and fats. But cutting out a protein like gluten really doesn't do that for you. Um, so basically my feeling is why wouldn't we just exercise more and that, you know, that increases our calories out of our system and then control our diets based on that. So if you have a day where you're more active, you can afford to eat a little more. And if you have a day where you're less active, you can eat a little less. You can feel good about yourself because you're regulating your own body. Uh, so I found two images that I posted. And one was a picture of a box of total cereal. And total cereal is fortified with vitamins and minerals. And a lot of people, with they go gluten-free, they will cut out their cereals. Um, and there are other ways to get your vitamins and minerals, but a lot of people don't really think about that. So what will happen is you'll stop eating cereals that are fortified with stuff, and before you know it, you'll end up with a nutrient deficiency like iron or folic acid or something like that that is good for your diet, but you're gluten-free, so you're doing what is supposedly right, which is interesting. And another image I posted was, it was kind of a joke, but it was saying that other things that are horrible for your health, like drugs, alcohol, stuff like that, they are, are gluten-free, so, you know, like, why not indulge in those things, which is obviously not true, but it, it raises, I think, a good point, which is, you know, just because something is gluten-free does not mean it is necessarily good for you. And the three sources I found, one I just kind of talked about, it was uh, from the New York Daily News, and it was about how women in particular, but if they go on a gluten diet, they avoid cereals, and cereals are fortified with stuff like folic acid, which I've mentioned before, and folic acid is well known to be beneficial for women's health. Uh, another source I found was The Truth About Gluten from WebMD. And it talks about how wheat is a normal staple in most Americans' diets. I think it's true. I know it's true of me. I eat a lot of wheat products. And when you cut out whole categories of foods you've been eating, when you cut like huge chunks out of your diet, no matter what it is, you run the risk of nutritional deficiencies, no matter what, because there are vitamins and minerals and certain macronutrients in those things that your body needs and is used to, and you can't just, you can't just stop cold turkey. Uh, third source I post was Medical News Today, and it talked about how a lot of people will jump on the gluten-free thing because they are, it's marketed well, and it gets a lot of celebrity endorsement, and it's popularized. It, gluten, you know, it's like a dietary evil in our world right now. Um, 
I don't think that's right. I don't think that's the reason people should be going on diets. I think they should do it for their own personal health and they should do their own research. They shouldn't just follow what the media is telling them to do. Uh, it also posted a quote from a nutritionist who said there are no beneficial health effects to a gluten-free diet. So while I can see the reason that people would want to decrease their gluten intake, I really don't think it is a, a sustainable and a responsible way to lose weight. Thanks.